But I want to show you something. And this is very significant. So I started to, to speak about your voice print and your authority in your sphere or and your place of influence. Why did you th why did you think we 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 are born in a time like this in a city like this? It's like Bloemfontein is a despised city. It's Put, put aside and every, everyone is laughing about this city but you know the most despised the Lord will use it like the, the same uh, wife that's doing the milling for, for, for Ruiz that who testifies about two weeks ago about this Jesus we know and Paul we know <laughs> but who are you? You see that even the forces of darkness recognized authority in a person. Now my question is this morning, when you started to speak and when you started to ask, what are the forces of darkness declare or what are they saying about your voice print in heaven? But you see, Paul had a voice print. They recognized him. Jesus, we know he had a voice print. Our question is this morning, what, how, what is your voice print in heaven? What is your authority that you are standing on? What is the altar in your house, in your place, in your family lives? You see, you always have to start with yourself. It's the, it's the stone in the water, the, the little circle, and then it circles out. You have to start with yourself. And what the Holy Spirit started to, to show to us this, also this week, when there was a circumcision that starts to take place, a cut of the heart of Richie's sister, and then of Richie last week here, and what he wants to do, the Holy Spirit said to me, Jesus Christ, he was speaking of Jesus Christ, he said the surgeon is busy with surgery so Jesus Christ has become, he is the surgeon but you can go now to Mediclinic in a theater where, where, the, where, where there is daily surgery, what is the most important thing in a, in a, in a, in a is it a theater is it theater, is it theater what is the most important thing in a hospital, in a theater? Except from the surgeon. It is in the instruments and the place must be sterilized. You can ask Paul. You can ask Paul what happened to him. When he came out of surgery and that place was not sterilized. His whole body become infected. So we have to come to that place. And that we have to come as and say, Lord, my body is a living sacrifice for you. Come and wash it. Come and clean, cleanse it. Daily you have to renew your mind, your body, your soul, your spirit. So we cannot pray from this altar if we are not laying down our lives daily die to self so that Christ can live pray for the blood over this place so that we can sterilize your house in the spirit realm so now it's the time and change of the season Rosh Hashanah the feast of trumpets there's an open door this morning and we can allow and I feel this is now time for us to, to go into worship and praise. There's an open door. What is our expectation for this year? What is our expectation? If there's a balance sheet of your life right now, I want to ask you one question. Maybe this question has never been asked to you before. In a church or a congregation or in a place, the one just before. 
And this question, no one will, no one will ever skip this question. But rather ask this question now today for yourself. Frau Father, where am I standing? Because one day, one day, you will stand in front of Him. You know, Louis Malherbe said, there is a day that you will stand before. He was years ago, the first, like, in Gekerk evangelist. He said, years ago, he said, one day, you will, you will meet the man of Nazareth face to face. One day, you will meet your Creator, Jesus Christ, face to face. So on the repertorius on Tuesday night, she testifies about her husband. He will come and testify next week. He was, two weeks ago he was here, and, and then he started to come to our evening uh, worship services and he had this struggle with the Lord and he was with me in hostel John Petrarius so he went on to a road trip this, this week and on the road trip somewhere the road trip starts in Bloemfontein all the way Klerksdorp, Pretoria Pongola on the road trip his motorbikes front wheel hit a pothole and the truck was coming from the front something happened and he just struck the side of his motorbike but his roommate was driving behind him and his roommate struck the truck head on and he passed away he died on on that same spot and he will come he will come and testify next week now my question is for this year for us what have you done with your life have you become a voice friend unto heaven and this is not to put fear into your lives but this is the question if we had to stand before our creator this morning and he asked us this question what have you done with your life so there's a primary calling and there's a secondary calling so our secondary calling is to to do everyday work and go and do your work in your house and look for your family and and, and you have to make sure there's a, there, there's a, a food on the table and there's enough to eat and there's gas in the vehicle but your primary calling is what is in your scroll what the Lord has called you to do so after today we will also allow people and Chris can maybe put a, a paper there in the house of bread this morning where people can put their names on and say I'm available and I'm not sure what I want to do I'm not sure where the Lord wants to use me but I will set myself available because there are now Mondays, Tuesdays, Wednesdays, Thursdays and Friday nights, five nights a week available. Even if you have to do something there, even if you have to help with the sound, even start with little things, small things. And then out of faithfulness, the Lord will start to increase. So I believe this is today this morning is a place where the Holy Spirit will just come and minister. So Father, we trust. Just come and minister through the sound this morning. We pray, we pray now over our brothers and over the sound and the sound releasing here. We pray, Lord, that your angels just come and get hold of this place. Ministering angels, worshiping angels, guardian angels in the house we have to interact with heaven so lord this morning we are calling there's a church in heaven right now and with a cloud of witnesses are in the third heaven they are in the church of heaven 
and we are on the church on earth. There's a time now when the Lord wants us to collaborate, to work together with the church in heaven. We want, we are co heirs with Christ. The church in heaven, the people that was faithful on the earth that already passed, they they already they have just been trans relocated to another dimension. When you are born again, Father, we know when we are born again, we already our life already starts here. Eternity already starts here. The day when we become born again already starts here. So, Father, we pray over the sound this morning. We pray our, over our brother's faithfulness. Thank you for sending this brother in. Thank you, Lord, for sending him. Thank you, Father. We pray when nobody attend, nobody want to come to this house to come and worship. You send him now 10, 12,000 kilometers. In two weeks' time, a brother from Namibia is coming for seven days. I asked him for four years, but you opened the door now for him. Another woman is coming from Pretoria, who you have called to be a worshiper. Even in eternity past, she's now also coming in. Let them come in. We call them in. Father, I pray over the men here this morning. We are not looking at numbers. We are looking at availability. And just put up your just said lord i'm available but now i'm not sure even where to use me ah all that i say father pray that you will open these scrolls let the light and let the seed of the word this morning just come and arrest their spirits just arrest them in their spirit and said lord i'm taking hold and charge over every man this morning in this place and come and Put them in a place that they will know this is an appointed time for them. This is like, it's a wake-up call. It's a wake-up call in the house. It's a wake-up call. We cannot sit and wait. We have to move out. We have to interact with heaven. But start in your own home. Father, I pray now that even their wives will give them grace. When they said, I, have, I want to do this on that evening, will you give me grace that I can go into that place? I have to do the work of the Lord. I have to do ministry work now. The Lord has called not only a pastor or the prophet or the evangelist, He has called every born again believer in the house of God for ministry. Therefore the word says in Matthew 28, 90, Go out and make disciples. Not let your pastor go out and make. Go out, make disciples in the world. Make disciples in the earth. We praise your mighty name. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus.